all right guys so this is the alternator um, so as you can see right here is where we shaved off a little bit basically on all these ribs we took down about an eighth so that we can get a flat surface here on all four corners and um, I also took down these two ribs and sanded this down just a bit so the supercharger had just a bit more clearance probably didn't need to but didn't want to chance it had to take it off and then back here is where I took off a quarter inch that bracket and this bracket so now that'll allow the supercharger to line up with all the pulleys um, just another note I did have to add a washer for a spacer to bring the pulley out now what I'm going to show you is how to clock this supercharger for the next step which is going to be the plumbing so as you can see where it's at right now pretty much is going to hit everything in the way once you do the plumbing so first thing is going to pull the dipstick out as you guys saw last time I loosen up all these bolts so that right now they're a bit loose and it's just a matter of turning it so the supercharger will turn back and forth what you want to do is make sure you just get clearance so I'm gonna probably set it about there maybe right there that should give me plenty of clearance and uh, we'll lock it down the dipstick um, we may have to modify it just bend it a little bit to the left just enough to where we can clear this better check it out guys it's finally on there we got a tensioner back on there got all the bolts secure for the supercharger got the bolt that goes up in there for the brace um, pretty much stout part of the motor now um, I guess we'll put the belt on check the clearance for the hose the water hose and then we can start doing the plumbing uh, okay guys so I had to take the uh, power steering reservoir off um, definitely in the way so I'm gonna go with uh, maybe building a custom one either putting it back in here or putting it on the side uh, we'll figure that in a bit uh, next step I got the uh, belt back on I also got the coolant hose back on it's a bit of a tight clearance uh, I may get a new hose and uh, they come very long so I can just cut it and shift it a little bit more to the left and then um, get uh, the power steering reservoir made up put back on so we can actually do a trial run on the supercharger just spin it make sure everything's working on it before we go on to the next step which will be doing some of the custom plumbing once that's done all right we had to go make a uh, auto zone run pick up a couple hoses here a couple of valves a couple of fittings some hose clamps all the basics we're going to be uh installing this new power steering reservoir don't really like having the one up here it looks pretty ugly not enough room there so we're going to relocate it to here we are got, already got the power steering cooler there so it's pretty easy to just bring the hose up into it and then the hose that feeds the power steering pump so that's the next thing we're going to get this going here so check it out this is the uh, hose we got got it at AutoZone part number 80405 just in case you're interested it fit pretty perfect on there let me show you so there's the uh, power steering pump and there's the fitting and we're gonna bring it out here with the uh, pressure hose that I made I made a stainless steel hose here some hydraulic hose so this withstands a lot of pressure for the power steering that goes into the cooler so this hose here we slip it through there Slip it in there and then slip it up in here and it literally fits perfect it will connect right in there and it has the perfect bend for it so that works right there we'll get it all tightened down meanwhile up here we're uh, we're moving the scrub bar we're gonna get this intake up so we can put the mass airflow sensor back on turn on the supercharger and let's hear it this is the power string reservoir got it on eBay it was about 30 bucks maybe I think 30 something honestly really good I like the way the aluminum cap uh, it's real smooth 
same sizes as the BMW hose so it's gonna work really good so that's the update right now okay so here we have the coolant hoses the reason we couldn't use the stock one is this will hit the supercharger idle pulley and this one here is the one I had already installed on there which gives us a little bit more clearance as you can see but it's still not enough so I ordered a new hose this hose if you cut it it's pretty long so last time I centered it and cut it this time we're gonna leave it a bit uh, longer on one side right here that way we can get this little bit of clearance and we should clear the okay now so the way to get these uh, clamps off right here you got to just basically cut them with the grinder don't go too far in you don't want to go into some of the plastic you can go through the hose but don't go through the plastic once you've got it off you'll have your uh, coupler like this you'll be able to slip your new hose on again the hose is a bit long so you cut it to what you want and then uh, the kit comes with a couple clamps so you can just clamp it back on and we've got our hose made up got it installed uh, plenty of clearance now looks like we got double the space we had that should be more than enough we also got the power steering uh, reservoir installed right here we got the hoses hooked up to it this is kind of just temporary hoses I want to do something nice for maybe some braided lines but um, we got to make a bracket for this didn't really come with one but there's a couple bolts we can use here so uh, once we get it started it's just to feel it out hear it run uh, make sure everything's working good and then um, we'll get all the plumbing made up and then get this tuned but let's hear it all right everybody we got it started first crank up cranked up really good this thing is a monster let me show you heard it it's ran runs good sounds good sounds strong um, next thing is you know we got to make all the new plumbing we're also going to make uh, some modifications to the headers and some uh, modifications to the exhaust adding the cutoff and then uh, once we get all that done we'll get it back down on the ground do a run without uh, tune just on the stock injectors we're not going to push on it too hard just give it a little run and then we'll get it ready for the tune that'll be the last thing to go